Hey guys, Kamaya Tarbley here. Um, today, I actually have a special review. Um, it was requested uh, by another author that I do a review for them, so I was like, absolutely, I'd be honored. <laughs> um, today we're gonna cover She Writes by Nia Gray. And that is a compilation of poetry um, as opposed to a novel. And one thing when I was like reading it and stuff is like, aside from just enjoying it, um, I really had to consider I can't review this like a novel because you know those of us who write novels we're looking for like setting characters plot um, all those type of things but with poetry poetry is more of like feelings you know there's like a flow uh, emotions describing you know usually like a particular moment or a particular feeling so it's it's you definitely have to look at it a different way, you know? You can't have too much of a critical eye because it's really just, you know, someone's thoughts that they're putting down on paper um, eloquently, may I say. Uh, but yeah, so it was it was cool. Like, <laughs> when I first started reading it, I was like, so we're gonna start it like this. <laughs> like, and not in a bad way, but it started out, like, super, um, just very intense and stuff, like, just going over, like, the traumas of life you know, the way that things like affect you, you know, particular incidences. And you're just like, all right, we're in this. Let's go. What else? What else is going on? Um, and then, you know, it transitions into like, you know, love, trying to figure out if it's love or lust that you're feeling about a particular person. Um, and then, you know, it moves on to the disintegration of that love, divorce, breakups, all that stuff. And then after that, it like, you know, evolves into like a healing kind of like period and stuff like, I guess, becoming more of like yourself again. And for me, I feel like the circular theme of it was kind of like your intimate relationships with people. That was kind of like the circular, the entire circular thing for me and stuff, not just like with like family, but just specifically like with your partner or you know, people that you interact with in an intimate way. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I have to say what I'm saying for you to understand what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, yeah, but that's what it seemed like to me, like a circle of that. Um, I would definitely say take a look because it's not like, um, it's not like the poems are like crazy, crazy long, like pages and pages. Personally, I get tired because like I said, <laughs> if it's a poetry book that's like, you know, a severely long poem, then I get really tired and annoyed because like I said, poems are supposed to be about a particular feeling or a particular moment. It's not supposed to go on for a hundred years. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's why I liked it. I was able to like get through it and some of the stuff I was just like, yeah, it's like, you know what I mean? Like I felt some of the stuff for real. Like a lot of things that, you know, Nia details in like her writing, you know, it's, it's, it's emotional. It definitely triggers your emotions. So definitely be, be prepared for that when you check out a copy. Um, understand you will want to hug yourself. And if you have longer arms than me, mine are short. But I'm still doing it. <laughs> hug yourself. <laughs> but yeah, so that's it for today. Um, yeah, if you're an author of a published work that can be purchased, uh, definitely let me know and I'll be more than happy to do a review for you. I don't ask for anything in return. I just think you should promote it, you know, um, that'd be cool. But other than that, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching again, you guys. See you next week.